All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are all doing well. And last week, I got a comment asking for a Q&A video. So here we are. I posted a community post on my channel, and I got a few questions from you guys. So today, I'm going to be answering them. So the first question I got is from My Little Gaming, and it is, how many years in total have you been producing content? And uh, I actually answered this question last week in the with episode um publicly on this channel it has been five years since i started literally we just crossed that uh milestone the other day so if you go to my oldest video it just turned five years old which is pretty cool i actually said in that video i did have other channels previously before i created this one um, but all those videos are private so i guess you could say i've been producing content for a longer period of time but at least for stuff that's on the internet still that you guys can watch, um, five years. All right, the next question is from Only Needed, and he actually responded with a bunch of questions, so I'm just going to read them off right now. Uh, first of all, what's your YouTube inspiration? So, I don't really know where to start with this one. I have a bunch of inspirations, um, pretty much, to be honest. It's just from watching other people play Minecraft. If uh, there were no Minecraft YouTubers, I would have never found this game in the first place. Um, so, I'll just list off a few of my biggest inspirations right now. Um, the first main Minecraft YouTuber that I watched was Paul Soros Jr. with his Minecraft Dead series. I watched that pretty much religiously like when I was a kid. It was one of the best Minecraft series, in my opinion, at that time. In fact, if you've never watched Paul Soros Jr. before, he is literally the first... Minecraft Let's Player, I think. Uh, I think he has, like, the first, like, tutorial series for, like, survival mode. So, yeah, definitely go check that out. He's one of the greatest of all time, in my opinion. Of course, how can I forget about Etho? Um, if you haven't watched Etho before, his Let's Play is, I think, I think undisputedly the best Let's Play uh, of Minecraft survival, at least in vanilla. Um, I've never really watched modded series, but in vanilla, he has done everything. He's the best. And, um, yeah, I don't think I would be playing Minecraft if it wasn't for him either. His series definitely inspired me a bunch. And also Dallas Med 65. His series was especially, uh, inspiring to me because, um, he was one of the only pocket edition creators at the time. I, I'm sure there were a lot more. But his survival series was pretty huge, and um, since I was playing out of Pocket Edition, I thought that was really cool. I said pretty much all this stuff in the last video, but I think it is definitely uh, important to reinstate that because, you know, those guys were really important, uh, especially in the Minecraft community back then, and uh, I think they should be... Uh, Recommended to new viewers of Minecraft, especially the younger generation that grew up with a Definitely a different type of content uh, Than the ones now and if you guys have not checked those guys out definitely go and do that All right, I know that was a pretty long-winded response, but it's true those guys definitely inspired me and um, Had a big influence on how I play Minecraft today, but the next question from the same person, what keeps you motivated? So, in Minecraft, I think I've done a video before on what keeps me motivated, but pretty much what I do to stay playing this game and to not get bored of it is to have a bunch of projects going on at the same time. And also, YouTube. Doing YouTube, actually, <laughs> uh, just like listening to you feedback from you guys also keeps me motivated to continue playing. Um, I know Dallas has uh, said this actually in a bunch of his videos that he probably would not be playing Minecraft still if it wasn't for doing YouTube. I don't know if the same story would be going for me. I played Minecraft by myself, like not doing YouTube, for six years, so I, I'd probably still be playing pretty occasionally, but I don't know if I would be doing as much as I am now. Maybe once in a while, but not like every day, you know? 
But going back to the other reason, I definitely stay motivated from doing a bunch of big projects at the same time. Um, it, you know, it keeps me going and not, like, having my brain set on the same project at all times. Um, I can switch between them, and if I need to take a break and do something else, I can just go do that. I don't have to force myself to work on a project that I'm bored of, which uh, is pretty important when you want to stay motivated in this game because you, there's no rules. You can do whatever you want, and, you know, if you don't learn that, it can get boring. So that is definitely a uh, something I do. I just have so many things going on at the same time. But the last question from only needed why are you making videos so pretty simply I thought it would be cool to show like my minecraft skills off to the world that's pretty much why I started this um, this is easily like my favorite game so and I, I've been playing it for so long and I've put so many hours in that I thought it would be cool to like show off what I've done so yeah that's why I do YouTube I'm not the best at it. Maybe I could be more energetic or less energetic or have better editing skills. Um, but I do love this game and I don't think I'll ever stop. So, yeah. Moving on now to the next question. And it is from Red Stranger. And if you didn't know, Red Stranger is actually a member of Cornerstone Season 1. So thank you to Red for the comment. But uh, his question is, if you have goals outside YouTube or like a YouTube career, what are they? So, yeah, I actually do. Uh, I would actually like to be an architect. I like building in this game. I like coming up with things that look cool. Um, I, I I've kind of developed a style, and it probably would not translate into real life. Let's be honest here. We're playing with blocks. Um, but an architect, being an architect would be really cool, I think. I also thought about being a city planner, or a town planner or something of that sort. Um, I, I do like, you know, mapping out roads. I mean, I built this whole city here. And uh, if you know the game City Skylines, I haven't played it before, but I think I would really enjoy that game. So I, I should probably get it, right? <laughs> it's probably similar to Minecraft. You can, like, pretty much build whatever, whatever city you want. But, um, yeah, maybe someday. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to school. Not to be exactly become an architect, but I might transfer to become one. But we'll see about that. But yeah, it's pretty much my dream job, uh, being a architect, <laughs> I guess. So um, last question here for today is from Decisive. Of course, Decisive is from the Cornerstone server, so you guys should all subscribe to him and also Red Stranger. But uh, he asks, hot dogs. Or cheeseburgers and then also our hot dogs sandwiches all right so to be honest I prefer cheeseburgers I think everybody does maybe there's some people that don't but you know you can't go wrong I mean five guys is my favorite fast-food restaurant um, or is it I don't really know I kind of like chick-fil-a it's either five guys or chick-fil-a um, but man those burgers are good I don't think there's a hot dog place I'd rather go to over five guys. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go with cheeseburger. Um, and then the second part of this question is a hot dog, a sandwich. Um, I've heard people argue this before. I don't think so. Are they a sandwich? It's more like, I mean, a hot dog is more like a taco, right? But, like, a taco, it's called a taco because of the type of the shell. And... I mean, a hot dog is a hot dog. I don't know. It's completely different, I think. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I'm glad I was able to do this. This is like my first ever like, Q&A video. So thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Just kidding. I'm back. We're not done yet. Um, I was literally editing the video. I just finished and then I got a comment from the person that recommended this video in the first place and I didn't want to leave it out. So I'm just going to read it now. It is from meme native meme native. Is it like two words or one word? I don't know. But uh, it is if and when you do become a big YouTuber, what changes to your content will there be? So um, that's a pretty interesting question. Thank you for sending that in, and I'll try my best to answer it now, but um, 
to be honest, if I ever do have the, you know, chance to become a big YouTuber, I'm going to try my best to keep my content as similar to as it was to what got me there in the first place. Um, I think that's the whole reason people subscribe to my channel in the first place. Uh, I don't know what <laughs> what type of content is going to get me there if it does eventually happen, but I think the key to having people stay, you know, watching your channel is to not actually change your content. Of course, you're going to have to make small changes over time um, to... I guess grow with YouTube because YouTube does change over time. If you haven't noticed, um, especially in the Minecraft community, sometimes you have to make changes to the style of video that you're making. Um, even if it is the same type of video, you just have to make small changes to kind of stay up to date with what's going on, if you see what I mean. It might be a little confusing, but yeah, that is my answer. I'm going to try not to change if I ever get big. <laughs> Uh, hopefully one day that will happen, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, once again, for the second time, actually, <laughs> and I'll see y'all next week. Goodbye.